Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, the anniversary edition. And it is finally the day! It is the day in which we are going to have the pup update. Which means that we are about to head with our wolves, Meadow and Genesis, to the creek, where we are going to be hopefully having many wonderful little puppies pretty soon. But I wanted to guide you guys through the steps on how to take some of the wolves that you may have already gotten in the previous version of Wolf Quest 3, and how to take the wolf and their mate over to the creek and be able to have their puppies from the very beginning. So there's a big announcement here. Hopefully you guys can follow it, but just in case we'll walk through it together. To go to the Sloth Creek, if you have completed the Find a Mate quest in Amethyst Mountain, load a saved game with that mate and head towards the star on the map and compass. Later, you can start a new game in the creek in the new setup game, or in the setup new game, selecting the Sloth Creek map and then that mate. If you haven't finished the quest yet, then you must go do that before you go to the creek. So we're gonna go ahead and we are actually going to load the game of Wild Meadow with her mate Genesis. And then we are going to get ready to rush out of here. They have spent enough time on Amethyst Mountain, no doubt after they have decided to take each other as mates, which is a very big commitment in the wolf world. They actually have spent a little bit of time hunting in between all of the different wolf packs, trying to ignore the other dispersal wolves, and basically figuring out how they work together. Look at him! And as we learned, Genesis is actually a great mate for Meadow because he's pretty down to earth. Yeah, we're all heading howl because we're excited about this. Good idea, Genesis. He's very down to earth. He isn't going to pick a fight with anything that is too strong and not worth fighting. Uh, he's a little bit playful from time to time, and he's just very reasonable. He sees the world for what it is, tries to do his best to deal with what resources are in front of him, and he's very, very calm and even killed in his personality. Not a lot will really startle him. Not a lot really gets him terribly excited either. He doesn't have a huge imagination for the future, but he knows how to take the next step on this big adventure that they are currently on together. And the next step that we are going to be taking is heading, hmm, all right, there should be a star somewhere around here, to the creek. Oh boy. Okay, there it is, there it is, across the Lamar River. Okay, so we need to go ahead there, and it's following the compass too. And I think, yeah, that's the mule doe deer, or the mule doe, deer doe, there we go, that we actually hunted together. So let's get these two going. And we're gonna head towards the star. You can see it on the compass in the top left corner. So if you're trying to figure out where the heck you need to go, there it is. If you look on the map, it's actually kind of hidden under the Lamar River spot. So that should help guide you guys in case you're having a little bit of trouble. There's a little pack of coyotes. What are those coyotes doing? Interesting. I'm somewhat curious. Ah, they were chasing. It looks like the whole pack of cutes was chasing a little snowshoe hare. Good luck, little hare! Yeah, they're way off into the distance. Do you see them? Wow, it must be a family pack of uh, coyotes. Huh. We might have to try in our Sims 4 Labarkatory Challenge breeding a wolf and a coyote. Um, oh gosh, koi wolves? Or coyotes, I think is what they're called in real life. And they do actually happen. And not a very good thing either because they make for more aggressive coyotes, but we can talk about that another day. For now, I'm so excited to think about the wild meadow of wolf pups that we are about to have as Genesis helps guide their way to a space where he knows that there might be enough territory for the beautiful meadow. And for him, hmm, we probably want to be a little careful because we are entering someone else's territory. You know, it will be a little sassy. Just do a teeny bit of marking. All right, let's go. But even though he's not very imaginative, he does know of a place where they might be able to carve out their own territory, make their own home, and possibly welcome a litter of their own wolf pups. All right, come on. Whoa, apparently he's a good swimmer too, which is not what I was expecting. <gasps> Did you see that bald eagle do some of the fishing? Oh, that's so cool. I love that. All right, we should be getting close too. This is very exciting. Maybe Genesis actually understands how the eagles work a little bit better than Meadow has ever seen before. 
I think she has more of a vision. <gasps> there we go! She has a more of a vision of the future. And perhaps she is the one who excites Genesis and makes him think about what it would be like to go forward and to really build a family and even a legacy of his own. Especially as no doubt will they spend time together, I imagine that Meadow has a lot of stories to tell from the faint memories that she has of all of the stories of her ancestors in the Moon Pack legacy. So, the meadows of the creek lie just beyond Bison Peak. There you can establish territory and begin your family pack. So this is like going to become the Moon Pack's territory. That is such a cool big deal. We've never really had a section of like the world in Wolf Quest where we had to constantly mark it as our territory in a more dynamic, organic way. It was always just this tiny little zone around the den. I am so excited to see what happens. Oh gosh, and I hope we can hunt the elk enough. We haven't tried hunting an elk with them yet. I wonder when we're going to have the wolf pups. We probably need to work on, you know, like making sure that we mark off our area. How many dens are there going to be? Is it going to be the same three dens or four dens that we used to have? Oh, this is so exciting. And the world is so organic now. What if we have a whole bunch of moose that come and bother us? <gasps> Here we go, you guys. Survival of the pack. A wolf's life is about one thing, passing on its genes to the next generation. All else from hunting elk to defending a territory drives towards this single goal. You and your mate survive the hazards of the wilderness long enough to meet each other, form a bond, and survive the winter. Now you can try to realize this goal. With pups of your own, you and your mate will become the breeding pair, sometimes called, quote unquote, alphas, of your pack. Their survival and the survival of your genetic code will be your responsibility. Even with all the dangers you have faced to reach this point, your real struggle has only just begun. Oh my gosh, is it like wintry and snowy here? Oh, this is so cool. Oh, heck no, I think we've already run into our first glitch. Meadow just wants to stand there and look amazing. Meadow, okay, here, maybe if we lie down. Oh, there we go. Phew. Okay, she wanted to take a quick nap, but hopefully when she wakes up, she'll be ready to get moving. We'll have to see. Maybe she was just stunned with the arrival of a whole new place and realizing, there we go, establish your territory. Maybe she was just stunned in place. After all, we do roll with the glitches in this game. Remember Twilight? Whew, that was a dark time. Establish your territory. You and your mate are expecting pups. You must now carve out your own territory here in the hills and meadows of the creek. Later, just before the pups are born in two months, you must find a good den within your territory. Other packs are also expecting puppies, so they are establishing and expanding their territories too. You need to make sure you claim, you claim enough space to create a safe buffer to protect your vulnerable pups from them. All right, how to establish territory? Explore the region and decide where to establish your territory. You might find potential den sites first. Okay, good. Or you might start working on a territory and look for dens as you go. Potential dens face south to catch as much of the spring sunshine as possible. Most are in the central area of the map. Claim an area by marking it. On it, on it. So we need to like urinate around the area to spread all of those chemicals the other wolves and other animals will know mean, hey, this is ours. We need to howl, hunt, and just simply be in the area to really claim it as our territory. We can see our progress on the world map of how our territory spreads. And to complete this quest, your territory must have at least 15 hexes at 50% strength. Wow! And we do need a big territory too, because the bigger the territory, the safer your pups will be from rival pack danger. But a bigger territory also makes more time to maintain and defend. Phew, okay. Oh, thank goodness, we can move around again. I was so worried there for just a second. Oh, you don't understand, Meadow. I am so proud to see you, like, standing here in the presence of a place that many of your ancestors have before too. Alright, let's take a look. Look at this map! Oh my gosh, there is so much more room here. There's two meadows even. This place is huge. So we have the first meadow right in front of us and we're on the little butte. 
where we can go ahead and stand. There's a lake up here. That sounds amazing to go see. There's a second meadow <gasps> and a grassy plateau. I thought we were going to end up having like our pups here just like right or like today but i think it's actually going to take a lot more time than i thought do we see the other pack territories oh there are other pack territories look at that we are going to be working up against prospect peak and we're going to be working up against crevice lake pack okay actually isn't genesis from prospect peak so it seems very fitting that he actually guided us over here um let's just go ahead you know Maybe start claiming, whoa, creating some territory of our own. To make this a scent post, mark it again now to boost your claim to 50% strength. Then come back a day or more later and mark it again to claim this hex completely. Scent posts are established territory markers, so powerful that you'll only need one in each territory hex. They appear on your compass so you can easily find one during your patrols so you can mark it again. And that's actually really cool because in the wild you'll have like a scent post where the wild animals will kind of mark like, hey, this is my spot and they'll come back to those regular sort of boundaries along their territory to mark the same tree you guys have probably seen it when you walk dogs for instance all right so let's go ahead oh look at this good 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 yeah we know ground sense scent view on and off this is a territory marking of our pack right over here territory marking of our pack I don't know if I want to put our scent post on such a high spot because it might be a little difficult to work on. Oh, oh, but look, the junction pack was right down below us too. Heck, okay, I'm kind of curious to go over to the lake. I kind of want to work our way over to the lake, but we are going to need to actually do a lot of fighting with the other packs, it seems. So let's mark a little more territory, but maybe get through this spot right here. Oh, wow. Seeing this area, I can just feel the dozens and dozens of times we have been in similar locations coming back to mind. I remember all of the struggles and the triumphs fighting off eagles and cougars, trying to find enough elk to be able to eat. I don't see any elk around here either. Let's see. Let's get a little, let's get across the river and then we'll see if we can actually put our scent post mark over there. And I want to head up towards the lake. That actually sounds very intriguing. All right, come on, you two. Here we go. This is so cool. Into a beautiful, wild new world. Are we coming to the edge? Yeah. So let's actually put a scent marker right here. So we'll go ahead and mark it twice. And that actually makes... Look at that! So that makes kind of like a waypoint scent marker where, yes, howling is a good idea too. Good job, mate. Excellently done, Genesis. Oh, look, and there might be some food for us. All right. Looks like we have caught the scent of a mule deer. Mule deer are nearby. Look around for them. Try to approach from downwind. Without a pack to help you, look for the smallest and weakest among them. Fawns are smaller and weaker than adults, but usually have a mother to protect them. To discover the health of a mule deer, bite it. All right, well, we do need some food. Let's see if Genesis can help us. All right, come on, Genesis. We need to have quite a bit of stamina. Oh, look, across this frozen river. All right, come on. The mule deer also fighting for its own chance. Almost there. Oh, good job, Genesis. Whoa, showdown. Your prey is not fleeing from you. Okay, we know. We're good. We're good. Wait to get a little bit more stamina back with that nice loping run that the wolves can actually do. Oh, look at Genesis. Oh, hey, there's a den nearby. Noted. We'll have to put in a scent marker around here soon. I like the big open meadow we have. All right, let's see if we can go help Genesis. It's amazing to see how fast the mule deer can actually run. All right, grab, grab it, grab it, grab it. And she's going to start kicking, I think, and trying to fight back. But let's grab her right here. Sorry, but we've got to have dinner. 
Easy there, easy there. And there we go! All right! And then hopefully, with a little bit of work, we can dig right in. And because we have done some hunting in this area, it looks like we have actually started to claim some of the zone as our own territory. So let's do a little howl to celebrate. Excellent! And look, we still need to work on our affinity with our mate. So we'll be wanting to do some of that as well. And it looks like there's actually some like dens nearby. This is excellent. These two are really hungry. I imagine that Meadow is actually quite starved since she is now carrying some pups we need to prepare for. Look at that. All right. Look at the beautiful stars overhead too. And then let's go ahead and get a nice scent post here. And then another howl. And just think of how exciting this is. All of this is land that they can start claiming in the name of the moon pack and really trying to create a home of their own where they could be part of this wild world, setting out their own little territory markers. We have to have at least, at least 15 of these hexes put down, maintained, before we'll be able to have our pups. And we already have another pack who's kind of butting into where we want to be. This is amazing. It's going to be such a more dynamic and organic growing story for our wolf pack like it has never been before. And I am so excited for you guys to join us on this journey so if you guys would like to join us do please consider subscribing let me know what you guys think in the comments i am so excited for meadow and genesis their story is going to become so uniquely their own oh my gosh who's over here a bull or a bull elk herd so bull elk herd a coyote den what there's even coyote dens their story is going to become so unique i just cannot wait to see how it turns out where do you guys think we should go with them? Should we stay in this area? Should we go check out the lake? Should we go check out the second meadow? There's gonna be so many options. Oh, I'm so excited. But all right, guys, thank you all so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for Meadow and Genesis and the Moon Pack. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.